Hi everyone, welcome in, welcome in. Today we're gonna really do kind of like a lookbook style video because I have recently found a shirt and mind you, it is not even a true button down shirt. I mean, it appears that way, but it is actually a swim cover up from Walmart. So I have fallen in love with this shirt. I do have it in several colors and I also have it in a small, medium and large, kind of similar to my other video where I wore like one shirt in three different sizes to prove that you don't have to be a size. But I don't want you guys to feel limited to just this option because I have found other options in this shirt and this shirt I'm concerned is gonna sell out soon. I want you to be able to no matter when you kind of find this video to hopefully be able to find a shirt like this so I dug around the internet and I did link similar ones below so make sure to check the description box below and I found a, a lot more colors even than what I show here either way it's a great styling video and hopefully will give you a lot of good ideas I'm going to just do it by outfit number so that it's easy for you to find it down below I do have to inform you that I do have a disease and that disease is called multiple styles disorder so <laughs> I did not make that up. I heard it somewhere. It fits me to a T. Not every style is for everybody. I like pretty much most styles. Right, why don't I just be boring here and start with the actual true purpose of this shirt, which is a swim cover up. So I have two looks for you, really showing this kind of two different ways as a swim cover up. So this first one here is in the tan. This is a size large. I'm wearing it with a one piece. I got it in a size large because it actually will button the whole way down. It gets a little bit tighter on my hips. I love it, you know, just kind of popped off the shoulder here whatever and I have to tell you this one piece I am obsessed with it it has great cups in it, it does come in other colors so I'll definitely link those below for you. and then the other look that I have here with a swimsuit is an actual two-piece because it's a high-waist bathing suit like that I thought it just kind of looked cute peeking out and I'm actually wearing it in the coral color here in a size small you can kind of obviously see the difference I can't really you know like fully button it or whatever but it's just like a different look all right let's just take the most dramatic turn here we're gonna go from literally wearing this coral one as a swim cover up to look at this with an office look. I thought this was so cute. This belt, I have to point out, I found in store with the chain. I don't think they sell it online. It is from Walmart. I thought it just brought in the detail of this chain on my Amazon bag just so perfectly. I definitely did make sure to steam this because, you know, with some of the other ones, I probably didn't really care as much, to be totally honest. We all know how linen gets. It gets wrinkly. Sometimes that's the vibe. Sometimes it's not. Did I just say that wrinkly is a vibe? I guess I did say that but I think you know what I mean but you know for the office look I certainly made sure to make it a little bit more like a crisp normal button down I really liked the fact that it was the kind that I can't really button because I think that makes it look a little bit more structured and then this next one here that you'll see in purple we'll do a couple of the purple first one is just kind of like a typical like t-shirt style kind of knee length dress that has pockets we all know the vibe you know you're down at the beach it's like the perfect thing you'd wear on the boardwalk or something Thing. The other look that I have with it, I called it like a little bit more of a date night look. It probably really depends what you end up pairing with it in terms of a shoe and a bag. I really kind of like the look of it being just open, but it has like the linen pants and kind of an all black approach underneath it. I just thought that that was really cute for like you know, a casual date night. If you're kind of like a sport vibe like I am, I'm definitely like a little bit of a tomboy. Here's kind of two like sporty looks for you. So I did two biker short looks. The one is using the white shirt. So this is actually this shirt in a medium. I have a pair of champion biker shorts, which mind you, I love these biker shorts. These are the biker shorts that made me fall in love with biker shorts, no joke. I even have a shirt tucked in, like, and maybe you don't think it looks good and that's fine, but <laughs> Like, tell me the last time I've ever tucked anything into like a legging and have it look decent. You know what I mean? The other one is I have kind of switching back to the tan shirt, which is the big and flowy one because that's kind of my true size to be able to button it. I had it kind of mostly buttoned with a different pair of biker shorts, also sneakers to kind of complete the look. Those bags, you guys, oh, I just love anything. They call them like these guitar strap camera style bags. They are all the rage right now and it adds so much. I mean, you can see this look here is kind of plain, but I feel like adding that bag just really, it does the work. It carries the load, the load of the outfit you know what I'm saying so I love it all right next we're moving on to like we got like a rocker chic kind of a look here with the tan one it's ACDC shirt when wearing it in a medium these van shoes these van shoes they're expensive they're expensive they were splurged for me I'm usually a little bit more of a budget shopper I freaking love these shoes probably one of my favorite looks I just love the way it all worked together this crossbody that I'm wearing I think I bought this at the beginning of quarantine and it is still around it comes in three different colors and it has so many pockets 
pockets. I'll link the video for you where I first talked about this. You want to see kind of more of a close-up of the bag and it's just like an I don't care, I'm too cool for school, I'm too cool for school kind of a look. I'm leaving school to go to a rock concert. That's the vibe. That's the vibe. And then this next look, I think it's a great summer jeans look. I've done a lot of content on this channel about like what do you want to do if you don't wear shorts? How do we look our best in shorts? And some people just don't wear shorts. I used to be one of those people. Um, the jeans are a light color. They're Sofia Vergara, my absolute favorite jeans brand. What I did with this shirt is I tied it up essentially, tucked all that stuff in and I did a really cute knot and you know it looks like a flowy linen cropped shirt. For this next one, really like sporty girl kind of a look. I'm wearing this cat suit thing that I got at Walmart. I love this thing. It's definitely not for everybody. I know not everybody even likes jumpsuits. This is almost like a jumpsuit to the next level. But if you are curvy, if you are curvy, I would consider getting this cat suit thingy majiggy because I just think it looks so flattering. You can wear it here a couple different ways. Tied around the waist is really cute. So it's not so I'm wearing a cat suit. You know what I mean? It's not so meow, I guess. I don't know. You know, paired with the hat, it just has a sporty vibe to it. I just love it. Ooh, these next two, let's talk about like beachy romantic holes. Beachy romantic holes. The first one here with this jumpsuit, very boho chic. I found this romper on Amazon. I freaking love this romper, you guys. It is so versatile. Tell me if you think it looks silky because when I got it in the mail, I was like, oh, it's silky. Okay. And at first I was like, oh, it's gonna look terrible on me, but then it didn't. So I was excited. Um, <laughs> another great option, again, for you guys, if you don't wanna wear shorts this summer, but it's got that big steep thing going up the leg with the little ties at the bottom. And then this next one, I'm going back to the white again. Beachy, romantical, beach night vibes. Like I'm having dinner on the beach with my person. For this next one, I just paired the coral option with a midi dress. It's a very cute kind of like preppy style look. Fun little tip for you guys. If you are going to tie something around your waist, make sure you always angle it slightly down. That is always going to be more flattering than just doing it like a blunt straight across your waist. And you know, even especially at the widest part, it's just going to add width to your hips, which we don't want. And then I have a second kind of summer jeans type of look. I have it just fully tucked in. It's almost like you would never know how long this thing is and they're tucked into a pair of jean joggers which I think is so so cute just kind of like a sexy kind of a sleek look because it's paired with these heels I love these clear heels um, normally you think clear heels and you're like mm, I don't know. but these are so cute I feel like they're very elevated chic and believe it or not I got them at Walmart and then last but certainly not least this is actually one of my favorite outfits and I feel like this is the kind of outfit where if you saw it at the store on the hanger, you're kind of be like, oh, that's like super boring. But pair this shirt tucked in with the jeans and then throwing this thing off the shoulder, I feel like just elevates this outfit to a completely another level. I'm almost using it here in place of what would be like a cardigan or something that you take with you if you're afraid you're gonna get chilly. I really love this outfit, even though at its core, it's kind of extraordinarily basic. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite and I'll see you next time.